Hello everyone, this is Liz with EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your sales tax under the Sales Tax Center. So let's get started. To access your Sales Tax Center on the left-hand side, you want to go to Taxes, and it'll bring you to the Sales Tax Center where you can set up your sales tax uh, rate according to where you are located. I am in LA County, so I'm going to set up the sales tax for that county. Now, first thing to notice, this is where um, you will see the, uh, the amount that you owe for each sales tax every time you do a bill or a sales receipt. And you pay also from here. If you notice, it says if you make a payment, with a bill or a check instead, it will not show up on this list. So this is the best way to, um, to record your payments. And to the right here, some task would be your reports, and then we have the settings. So let's go ahead, I'm going to start with adding and editing a tax rate agency because there is nothing here yet. I'm going to click new. And I'm going to click uh, single rate. Um, you can do several um, rates. You can do combinations. I do have clients where um, they are online retailers and I have for several um, rates throughout um, where, where um, their jurisdiction is. So in California um, or LA County, I may have a different rates for LA County. Uh, for different cities, so I can do them here. But I'm going to do a, a single rate because this is a setup for a restaurant, one location. So I'm going to ca uh, call it um, LA County. LA County Agency is where you pay the sales tax to. So here is C D T F A. And my rate is going to be 9.50. I'm going to save that. And as you can see, it's already set up here. So we can go back. And now we can also go to Edit Sales Tax Settings. So it says, do you charge sales tax? Yes, we do. The default sales tax will be LA County. We can mark all new customers taxable. We can mark all new products and services taxable. So I am going to leave that as is and click Save. And now we are set to track sales tax. So I'm going to process a sales receipt and then I'm going to come back here and we're going to take a look at how it looks. Okay, so I recorded a transaction here. Now I did a sales receipt and I have taxable sales here and it gives me the tax amount uh, for this amount. So my balance that I have to pay for taxes is right here. So when I'm ready to pay, I just go to record payment and it will record the payment for me. That's what I wanted to show you here today in this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you on the next one.